All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the place value method for subtraction and show you how to use it to help the student get the answer and then connect that method, this alternate method, and connect it to the standard algorithm because ultimately we want our students to learn the standard algorithm. All right, so we've got this problem, 152 minus 38. And the idea would be, um, I specifically am showing you borrowing uh, because I think when it, we don't need borrowing, the kids have less of a uh, struggle, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to model 152. So 152 is in place value. It's going to look like this. So there's 152. Feel free to pause to make sure you understand why that's 152. And then it says we're supposed to subtract 38. And the idea is we're going to take away eight ones. But you can see we cannot take away eight ones because we only have two ones. So what we're going to do is we are going to take one of the tens. Oh, let's take this guy. And we're going to cash him in. And we're going to cash him in for ten ones. And it's going to look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so what's what's happening is this guy is no longer here because we've cashed him in. So what is that going to look like over here? Well, we used to have two, now we have twelve. That's because we used to have five, and now we have four. So we used to have five tens, now we have four tens. We used to have two ones, but now we have 12 ones. And now the idea is we can subtract 8. Now we have 12 ones. Let's take away 8. And so I'm going to use a pen, and I'm going to cross off 8 of them. Well, we've got 5 right here and 3 more right here. So I've just crossed off 8 of them, and we now have 4 ones left over. So I'm going to put the 4 right there. So now we can look at our tens place, it says we have four tens, and we're supposed to take away three. Well, that's pretty easy. Just take away three. One, two, three. So we've taken away three, and we have one ten left over, so that's going to be the one ten right there. And then lastly, it says we have a hundred, one hundred, and take away nothing. So we end up with that one hundred. So our answer is one hundred fourteen right here, and you can see that over here we have one dot in the hundreds place, one dot in the tens place, we have four dots in the ones place, so the answer is 114. Just one more practice of that, so we're going to, uh, let's see, make our place value, so these are the hundreds, these are the tens, these are the ones, and then we're going to model, we're going to start by modeling 243. 200 43. So there's our model for 243, and it says starting with our ones place, you have three ones, take away four ones. Well, you obviously can't do that. So we're going to cash in. We're going to exchange one of those tens for ten ones. And so what is that going to look like? That's going to end up looking like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how are we going to model this? Well, by the way, this is gone. So what does this model look like over here? Well, we used to have four tens. Now we only have three tens. So we used to have four. Now we have three. We used to have three ones, but now we have 13 ones. So that's going to cross that off and make a 13. And now we can subtract. It says you have 13 ones, take away four of them. So we're going to take away four of them. And so what are we left with? Well, we're left with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're left with nine ones. So I'm going to record that right here. Nine ones. So now we have three tens, and we're supposed to take away eight tens because we have three tens. We used to have four, but now we have three. And if we're supposed to take away eight tens, well, we can't do that, so we're going to need to do, once again, some regrouping. So I'm going to take one of these hundreds, and I'm going to cash it in for ten. Ten tens, in this case. And so that's going to go 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And by the way, this guy got is no longer there. He got cashed in. So what is that going to look like over here in our model? Well, we used to have two hundreds, but now we only have one. So we used to have two hundreds, now we only have one. And we used to have three tens, but now we have thirteen tens. So I'm going to cross that off. We used to have three tens, but now we have thirteen tens. Not to be confused with this thirteen. And so now we have 13 tens, and we're supposed to cross off eight of them. And that's easy now. We could do that. So we're going to cross off eight. Well, that's easy. Cross off five down here, three more. And so we have two and those three. So how many tens do we have now? We now have five of them. So we could put five right here. And sure enough, 13 minus eight is five. And lastly, we have 100, and we're supposed to take away nothing. That means we end up with... 100 still. And we can see it over here. So we know our answer is right because our model says we're supposed to end up with 1 in the hundreds, 5 in the tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 in the zeros, or I mean in the ones place. So we have that answer. So the idea, parents and teachers, the idea is Use this place value pictorial representation to make physical this algorithm that students might be struggling with and do them side by side so that students can see what's going on here and then understand how to record it over here in the standard algorithm. And eventually, you can start weaning your students from this table here, this place value chart, get rid of it, in favor of only the standard algorithm.